Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Here is the teacher Emmanuel. So now today we are going to learn about number bases, right? Uh, changing from base 10 to another base. Here we are now going to learn how to transform from one base to another one. We start from uh, changing from base 10 to uh, another base. We have an example uh, to convert 5,000 and 4. Uh, 5,204 to base 6 uh, the number is in base 10 right so what you have to know as I said uh, uh, every day is that a number it's going to be it's, or it's going to have a number uh, which is greater than its basis so converting from base 10 to another base we do what we call a successive division. Successive division uh, divide up to when you get a, a zero as the solution. So let's perform this. Here we have uh, here we have five thousand five thousand uh, two hundred and four. As I said, this number is in base ten. We need to change it in base in base six. We made what we call, or we do what we call, what I said as a successive division. Here we divide by 6. So we take those two numbers, 52 divided by 6. There we put 8. 8 times 6 is 48. Then minus 52 minus, minus 49. Uh, the answer will be will be four, and then we pull down this zero. Then forty divided by six. Uh, we look for the number which can be can multiply with a, with a six, and we have the solution uh, which is equal to forty or around there. So we put it there in uh, 60. 6 times 6 is 36. Then we make minus. Minus 40 minus 36. We have always 4. And we put down this number 4. So then 44 divided by 6. You can put there 7. 7 times 6. The solution is 40, 42, then minus. The answer will be remainder of, of a 2. As you see, this 2 is a small number comparing to 6. So 2 is a remainder when we are, we are dividing. So then, the next step is to take the answer we have found here and then also divide it with a, with a 6. That is the procedures. So, as I said from the beginning, here we made what we call successive division by the, the required base. You take the number and you make what we call a successive division by required base. So, we have now uh, 867 divided by 6. And then 8 divided by 6 is possible. We put there 1. And we have 6 there minus is a 2, put down number 6, then 26 divided by 6, you put there 4, 4 times 6 is a 24, then minus, we have a remainder of a, of a 2, then we put down 7, so we have now 27 divided by 6, always we use 4, 4 times 6, the answer is 20, 24, and we have 3 there. As you see, 3 is a number which is less than 6, it means it can divide this, uh, 3 into 6 parts. So 3 will be a remainder there. Then, as I said, we make a successive division. Now we are now going to make to divide 144 with a, with a 6. 
So 14 divided by 6, you put there 2, 12 minus remainder of 2, put down this 4. 24 divided by 6 is 4, 24 and then 0. So now we have a 24 as the solution. We divide again, again with a 6. So by dividing 24 with a 6, we will put there 6, 6 times 6 is 24 minus 0. We have a remainder of 0. And then also 6, we divide it by 6. Uh, right? So 6 divided by 6, we put there 1, and then uh, 1 times 6 is 6 minus 0. Right? Yes. So then, then now also, uh, made a mistake.